Uh, it's really easy to beat a crackhead at rock, paper, scissors because all they pick is rock. <laughs> That's all they do. That is all they do. <laughs> uh, okay, stop. Okay, stop. What the fuck kind of doctor are you? I said I got my PhD in philosophy. <laughs> You want to talk about ideas? That boy right now. How you doing? Um, it's been about a year, a year, since I've been sexually and masturbatively active. <laughs> Last time I was with a girl, though, she was a bit of a freak. She was like, you know, I want to be your sex slave. She said, I want to be your sex slave. So I was like, okay, go outside and clean my backyard. <laughs> she said, that's not sexy. So I said, okay, go outside and clean my backyard and then come back inside and suck my dick. I just recently realized I'm not growing into a correct person. <laughs> I'm still thinking that, like, mixing Slurpee flavors is the most gangster shit you can do. <laughs> How's it going, Brandon? Well, it's just been a minute since I told a joke, and you know, I've been focusing on school and work. You know? And I recently started talking to be a, a white girl. Yeah, let's go. And she's not everything I hoped she would be, though, you know? Uh, she got a kid. Uh, but what's worse than that, though, is she she's an awkward hugger, you know? Ain't nothing worse than an awkward hugger. And it struck me as, like, wait, hold up. You're a mother. How the fuck you are, are you an awkward hugger? Like, how does that happen? That don't make no damn sense. What about your baby? You know what I'm saying? How is that gonna scar that little motherfucker going through life when his mom don't even love him properly? <laughs> you know, you just sitting there and watching TV, mind your own business. And then all of a sudden. Shit, you gonna be here all night, motherfucker.